Unit 4, Minor Scales from the Fundamentals of Piano Theory, Level 4 by Keystone and Martha Ashley. For this section, we're going to talk about the difference between a relative minor scale and a parallel minor scale. So this whole section is about relative minor scales. Relative minor scales have the same key signature. So if you have a major scale that has one flat in it, its relative minor is going to also have one flat in it. So they will not have the same starting pitch. So in F major, there's a B flat, and in its relative minor, it's also going to have a B flat in the key signature. It doesn't say it here because it's at the beginning of the line, but this B is flat. You can find the relative minor by going to the sixth scale degree in the major scale, or just going back two notes in the scale, um, and that's gonna be the first note of your minor scale. So one, two, three, four, five, six, it's a D, and that, that's the name of the relative minor, and it shares the same key signature. So I already identified the keys. I'm just gonna rewrite the scale. So C major's relative minor is A minor, and there is no sharps and no flats. And you don't have to carry the key signature through because I already wrote it at the beginning of the line. Um, you can if you want extra practice, but it's not necessary. G major's relative minor is E minor. And that has one sharp in it, which is F sharp. B flat major's relative minor is G minor. And it has two flats. B flat and E flat. Let me zoom in a little bit here. E flat major's relative minor is C minor. And just a reminder, you got a one, two, three, four, five, six. There's your C, or you can go backwards too. Uh, and that's three flats, B flat, E flat, and A flat. D major's relative minor is B. That's a six scale degree. Two sharps, F sharp, and C sharp. Ooh. A flat major's relative minor is F minor with four flats. That's B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Ooh, this isn't this is very good. Okay, so these are relative major and minors. They're relative with each other. Uh, different forms of minor scales, there's three. There's the natural minor, which stays within the key signature. No notes are altered or changed. You have the harmonic minor, where you take the scale and then you raise the seventh scale degree by a half step. You don't make a sharp, you raise it by a half step. And the melodic minor, where going up or ascending the scale, you raise the sixth and the seventh by a half step. And then it takes a natural minor scale descending. And you don't make it sharp, you raise it because in the sixth scale degree of this scale, it's a B flat. You can't make a B flat sharp, otherwise you raise it a whole step. You have to make a B flat to a B natural. So it says change these A natural minor scale to harmonic and melodic minor scales by writing in the correct accidentals. So in the harmonic minor, I already wrote in what's going to be changed. That's a seventh. We're going to raise it a half step. A half step above G is G sharp. And that's ascending and descending. For the melodic form, you raise the sixth and the seventh. So F turns into F sharp and G turns into G sharp. And it is a natural minor form descending. And that's what we're gonna do on this page for all of these nice gifts. E minor, one sharp in the key signature. Raise the seventh, D becomes D sharp, ascending and descending. Melodic minor, the C becomes a C sharp and the D becomes a D sharp. And I guess you can technically write that these are natural going down, but you don't have to because the bar line resets all accidentals. Uh, for D nat, oh, I'm sorry, for D minor, it's a B flat. So we raise in the harmonic form, C to C sharp, ascending and descending. In the melodic form, we raise a sixth and the seventh. I did this wrong. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, the sixth B flat becomes a B natural, which is why you always have to check your key signature, and the C becomes a C sharp. And if you're really just unsure, look at a piano. And if you draw a lot of piano, if you don't have one like accessible to you, if you just know the patterns two, three, this is an awful looking piano, but oh well. 
and you go to B flat, you go up one half step, go up to the next key, and that's a B natural. So you can use that as a reference if you're having difficulty. For B minor, it's two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. I raise for harmonic minor my seventh scale degree, which is A into A sharp by a half step. In melodic minor form, the G gets raised to a G sharp and the A gets raised to an A sharp going up or ascending. Okay, G minor, you have B flat and E flat. So you're gonna raise the F to an F sharp in the harmonic minor form. And in the melodic minor form, because you have an E flat in the key signature, it becomes an E natural and the F gets raised a half step to F sharp in its natural form going down. Ooh, my fan blew my page. C minor, uh, three flats, B flat, E flat, A flat. Raise the seventh to the B flat because it's in your key signature becomes a B natural ascending and descending. The melodic minor form, the A flat becomes an A natural and the B flat becomes a B natural. Um, the F minor scale, you have four flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. Seventh scale degree in the harmonic minor form is E flat, raise it a half step to E natural, ascending and descending. The melodic minor form, you have a D, flat and an E flat, they both are in the key signature that are flat, so they raise a half step and become natural. I'd really recommend going through and playing all of these and so you can hear the difference and see how maybe the E harmonic minor sounds the same but on a different starting pitch than the C minor. And just go through your three forms, the natural, and then the harmonic, and then the melodic. And play all these scales out. And it works best when you can hear the difference. Okay, so we talked about relative minor scales and major scales where they share the same key signature. Well, parallel major and minor scales share the same starting pitch, or you could say the tonic, or you could say the first note. Whatever works best for you to understand that. So D major's parallel minor is D minor. G major's parallel minor is G minor. That doesn't change the key signature in these minor scales. They still have different key signatures, but the same starting pitch. Um, so they just want you to kind of rewrite them out. I already wrote all the key signatures out, so I'm just gonna write the scale. So G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. I don't have to write in my accidentals because it's in the key signature. It carries through. C minor, boop, ba -da boop, ba -da boop, 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 boop. And it's really just this easy. Just remember that the parallels share the same starting pitch. If it helps to write in your accidentals, by all means, do so. D major has two sharps and D minor has one flat. A major has three sharps and A minor has none and no flats. E major has four sharps and E minor has one sharp. Oh, and you know what? I'm messing all of these up because I'm not reading the directions. I'm writing them all in their natural minor form, but I need to go back and I need to write them all in their harmonic minor form. So I need to raise that seventh scale degree. So G minor, here's the seventh. F becomes an F sharp. Go to my seventh here. B flat becomes a B natural. My seventh here, this E flat becomes an E natural. I knew it couldn't have been that easy. C becomes a C sharp, G becomes a G sharp, D becomes a D sharp, and this A becomes an A sharp. So you could do what I did, write out all the naturals and then raise the seventh in all of them, or just do it right at the beginning and raise all the sevenths. And that's the end of this section, so parallel minors and relative minors.